Sometimes, it is easy to divide a polynomial by splitting it at the positive and the negative signs. Like this, we have 6x minus 3 over 3 in our first example. When the polynomial was split into two parts, we still had to keep the over 3 under each one. So we have 6x over 3 minus 3 over 3. Then the highlighted parts were reduced. So we have 6 over 3 that is 2 and 3 over 3 that is equal to 1. To leave the answer of 2x minus 1. Here is another slightly more complicated example. So we have 9x squared plus 12x plus 1 over 3x. Then what do you think will happen? So in the first term, we have the 9x squared over 3x. Let us simplify the constants. We have 9 over 3, that is 3. And the first term had x squared above and x below, which together becomes just x. So we have 3x. Now, in the second term, we have 12x over 3x. The constants of the second term is 12 over 3. Then we simplify it, we have 4. The second term had x above and below, so they cancelled each other out, which left us 4 only. What about the next one? In the third term, we couldn't simplify 1 over 3x any further. That is as far as we can get, but the answer is still simpler. We have to take note that the result is a valid answer, but it is not a polynomial because the last term is 1 over 3x has division by a variable x. Now, sometimes it helps to rearrange the top polynomial before dividing. As in this example, we have 2x squared plus 2x over x plus 1. In this case, we simply extract the x plus 1 into 2x squared plus 2x. If you want to check it, you may try to multiply the numerator. So we have 2x times x, we have 2x squared, 2x times 1, that is 2x. We have the same results in the given. And in this part, we have the denominator x plus 1. So we can simply cancel out the x plus 1 in the numerator and the x plus 1 in the denominator because they are the same. So which left us only 2x. And that is our final answer. Now, in this case, if none of those methods work, we may need to use polynomial long division, which we will discuss in our next quest.